We, the television audience of the 50s, 60s, and 70s, were truly blessed with some of the best and most memorable TV shows in history. Each of us had our own personal favorites. We had our favorite stars, too, playing their leading roles. There were plenty of character actors who added color, humor, and depth to our favorite shows as well. One of the most cherished and best-remembered female character actors during that time was Madge Blake. She was born Madge Cummings, May 31, 1899, in a small south-central Kansas community of Kinsley. Her father was a circuit rider that was a clergyman who ministered to settlers in a specific geographical territory. He would assist new settlers in establishing new congregations. Being a strict Methodist, he was not in favor of his daughter following her dream of becoming a Hollywood actress. And even though her family actually relocated to Southern California, Madge did not begin to study acting until she was 50 years old. During World War II, she and her husband, James Blake, worked in Utah on the construction of the detonator for the atomic bomb. Their work for the government required top secret clearance. Their job included performing many tests on the components for the Manhattan Project. For their work, they received a citation from the U.S. government. At age 50, she enrolled in the Pasadena Playhouse and finally began pursuing her lifelong dream of becoming an actress. She was first cousin to actor Milburn Stone, that was Doc Adams from Gunsmoke, and she took advantage of any influence or contacts he had in landing acting roles. Madge is best remembered for recurring roles in three popular primetime TV series. She played Flora McMichael, the love interest of Grandpa Amos McCoy on The Real McCoys. She also played Margaret Mondello, which was Larry's mom on Leave it to Beaver. Who doesn't remember that portrayal? Goodness gracious, she was as funny as Larry was. And then she also played Harriet Cooper, the aunt of Dick Grayson on Batman. Now here's an odd fact. She was actually offered the role of Aunt B on the Andy Griffith show. Because she was contractually tied to the role of Miss Mondello on Leave it to Beaver, she declined the role. Many have believed that the role of Aunt Harriet was actually created and added to the Batman television series. Supposedly, the network worried about the appearance of Batman and Robin living alone together. Also, their interaction with Aunt Harriet allowed them to appear in their non-hero roles a little more often. Contrary to that belief, though, is the reminder that her character, Aunt Harriet Cooper, actually first appeared in DC Comics in June of 1964. That was more than two years before the first television episode aired. During the 1966 season, the producers actually wanted to fire Madge. Their reason or reasons had never been fully disclosed. She and Adam West had become very good friends. He stood up for her to the producers, and she kept her job. That very next day in his dressing room, he found a freshly baked cake. He had regarded that as one of the highest compliments he was ever paid. She also had some other really notable roles and appeared in some noteworthy episodes. She played Tilly, the president of the Jack Benny fan club on the Jack Benny show. She was in an episode of I Love Lucy in 1957 with George Reeves. He guest starred as Superman. Many consider one of her best performances was as Miss Porter. She was the babysitter for Dennis in the pilot episode of Dennis the Menace in 1959. Another one was where she played Miss Comstock, an official from the children's school, in the pilot episode of The Addams Family in 1964. Madge's acting career only spanned 20 years. 
In that time, she managed to achieve a resume of over 120 acting credits. 47 are on the big screen. Of those, the two most memorable are the perfume counter lady in American in Paris and as a gossip columnist, Dora Bailey in Singing in the Rain. If all that wasn't quite enough, she was the model for one of the fairies in Walt Disney's animated version of Sleeping Beauty. Her failing health caused the role of Aunt Harriet to be significantly scaled back in the third and final season of Batman. She only appeared in that role three times that season, and each one in a guest appearance. Shortly before her passing, she appeared in an episode of The Doors Day Show. In February of 1969, she passed away at the age of 69, the result of a heart attack. She is interred at the Grandview Memorial Park Cemetery, in Glendale, California. Madge Blake surely falls into the category of those whose life encompasses more than what obviously lies on the surface. Yes, we will finally remember those three roles of Flora, Miss Mondello, and Aunt Harriet. And now we celebrate knowing she achieved not only her dream, but so much more. Thank you, Madge, for entertaining us through our childhood years and for inspiring us now to accomplish much while we are chasing our dreams. Thank you so much for watching.